now, get do it now, get ill, do it now, get do it, dance, dance, get ill, do it now, dance, get do it, get do it, do it, do it, dance, dance, get do it, dance, do it, dance, do it, do it now, do it, get do it, get do it, do it, dance, get 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 do it, dance, get do it, get do it now, dance, dance, get do it, get do it, dance, get ill, do it now, get do it now, get ill, do it now, get do it, dance, dance, get ill, do it now, dance, get do it, get do it, do it, do it, dance, get get do it, dance, do it, dance, do it, do it now, do it, get do it, get do it, do it, dance, get 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 do it. A very good afternoon everybody, Austin here, welcome to AW Services. So I thought I'd do a quick video on washing machine maintenance. As a lot of people, everybody has a washing machine. Many of you are inclined to use a lot of the newer liquid format washing detergents. Um, for example, couple here, recommended for use at low temperature. So 40 degree, 30 degree washes save the planet and hug the trees and all that lot. Some of you may use the conventional powder, Daz, other brands are available. The problem with a lot of the liquid detergents now being low temperatures, something very good for you to be aware of. You're using these in your washing machine, you're using a 30 degree or a 40 degree wash. However, your washing machine isn't breaking down the chemicals within the detergent and after a while, that will become suspended in your machine, causing mold, mildew, pathogens, bacteria. So if you've got children with asthma, respiratory problems, elderly people, emphysemia, anything that's a respiratory illness, you may find that mold, bacteria, as is mold on your walls in your house, will affect you. So it's very key and crucial to maintenance wash your machine. As working previously in white goods retail, selling washing machines, dealing with many brands and big companies, Hot Point Whirlpool, Bosch, all the big brands out there, Miele, Hoover, I learned a lot about washing machines. So it's something I know, and it's something I'm quite proud to know really, because the everyday Joe public doesn't. So I thought I'd share my information with you. So first of all, your washing machine. The washing machine you see in front of you is a Bosch Max 6. I'd say it's about 10 to 15 years of age. It's absolutely pristine and immaculate as I clean it very, very regularly. So your soap drawer, when you open your soap drawer on your washing machine, you may find that yours may be black, dirty, that's mold, that's bacteria, different pathogens, spores of mold. Can be potentially quite fatal if left to incubate. So my washing machine drawer, for example, comes straight out. It's spotlessly clean. And you sometimes find on the top of the machine, if you lift the flap, this area here will be congealed with a fabric softener, all black, moldy and stinking. Absolutely disgusting. I take mine out every week with a toothbrush a bit of mild bleach solution in the bottle and spray that clean. Into the housing of where the drawer sits and locates, you'll find your water galleries as where the water comes into the machine to fill and dilute your soap powder or detergent. Again, this is often thick with black mold, the top where the water passageways become blocked with mold. So take your drawer out, every month at least and maintenance clean your washing machine we'll talk a bit more about the tools that i use in a minute but that again is something to look forward so opening your drum of your machine you may find if your washing machine leaks or drips water on the floor when it's, it has a load in you may find that the door seal may be moldy not creating a good contact around the door aperture of the glass bowl. Also, things to look out for, never slam or kick the door shut on a washing machine as the hinges are often a aluminium molding and they will snap and shear off in no time at all if you abuse them. It's only a lightweight, cheap die cast alloy, very thin, not a lot of cross section to it, so that will snap and it will bend the door out of plumb. In your washing machine, around your seal, it's always key to wipe it out with a cloth. Again, I've just serviced my machine and cleaned it all with a mild bleach solution. 
so there's no dirt you'll always find in the bottom if you peel back the seal you may find the odd five pence the odd earring uh, bits of paper someone's phone number you've got from plenty of fish you've written down on a piece of pocket or you've been out to fever and you've met someone they put their phone number on a piece of paper because their old school mobile was flat so things to look out for there drawing pins depending what trade you're in if you're a plaster a builder you may find that you've had galvanized clout nails in your pocket roofing tingles if you're a roofer and they've ended up here they can score scratch and tear the inner circumference of your washing machine rubber most rubbers are easy to fit you can get them from 12 pounds upwards from genuine spares to aftermarket copies from e-spares etc but preventative maintenance seven p's prior planning and preparation prevents piss poor performance make sure your drum spins freely there's no lateral play it's not grinding if so your bearings are going so talking about washing machines a little bit more in depth if you have a family of four mum dad little brother and sister you'll find for that you will ideally would need this is the surprising fact if you have a family four people you're going to need at least a eight to nine kilo and above rated machine if you look at your manufacturer's recommended usage within the user manual if you buy a brand new machine read up on the maximum loads and weight capacities per wash per cycle this machine is a max six so that's a maximum of a six kilogram wash and that equates to old school terms i believe four men's shirts some socks some underwear a pair of trousers and maybe a few handkerchiefs or a few t-shirts and that is six kilograms so if you're living in a modern day family and you've got anything between four and 20 children you will need a machine 12 kilograms and up you'll find that when you if you're you've bought a machine cheap you've bought it on facebook marketplace because you're desperate for a machine you've bought the cheapest machine you can find it's had its previous life its previous owner has absolutely caned it as well and you'll just waste your money so it's good to research the appropriate weights and loading of a washing machine to make sure you're getting the correct machine for your family environment otherwise you will be wasting your money so we talked a little bit about the detergents things you can use to clean your washing machine on a regular basis i use pump spray bottle home base four pounds from my local bj's value house in barnstable north devon i have bought some home brewing bottle brushes very inexpensive but absolutely fantastic for cleaning washing machine soap drawers around the door seal and good to get into all those nooks and crannies thick bleach absolute lifesaver anything from 75 pence from all major supermarkets smaller bottles are available i use that and dilute it with warm water in a spray bottle and use that as a mist spray to clean around the doors be very careful atomized bleach can get on your chest give you a very sore throat very quickly so make sure you use bleach in a well ventilated area follow all safety precautions and warnings for children as it is classed as a poison most bleach is around three percent chemical composition of bleach is sodium hypochloride stay away from any adverts on tv offering a washing machine service wash liquid all it is normally is a chlorine based granular formulation or a, basically a small bottle of high percentage bleach that you put through your machine so i also every week i will put about 500 milliliters of bleach into the main soap drawer and also into the softener drawer and i'll run that just for a cycle at 90 degrees 90 degrees for those youngins out there is what we old folk call a boil wash 90 degrees as hot as you can get and that will flush out everything with the new machine your water passageways around your drum circumference and when your machine's finished and it's clean and it will also pump out and clean your drain pipes as well around the door seal 
Another thing, if your machine's squeaking and knocking, in the bottom of most machines in a little service hatch, you will find located a cap that you can unscrew. Most people refer to this as a filter. It's not actually a filter. All of that is, is your centrifugal pump access hole. So if you unscrew that, you will have probably three or four pints of water fall out of there. So it's ideal if you can get a baking tray or some old towels. Be very careful if your machine's on a lino, melonium floor, as the water may seep underneath and blow your floor up. But you normally find in here, if you unscrew it, the odd earring, safety pin, drawing pins, five pence pieces, one pence pieces. That can also drastically damage your machine as well. So washing machine maintenance and care is absolutely paramount if you wish for your machine to last longer. I clean my machine regularly. I often clean other people's machines as a part of my cleaning service for a fee, the same as oven cleaning. But I just wanted to part some of my knowledge and maybe help some of you guys out into the ins and outs of washing machine maintenance and cleaning. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them below in the comments. Don't forget to hit subscribe, hit the bell icon and notifications. Thank you for watching.